Hello everyone, this is me Farid Fana, your friend guide and instructor in this channel. We have successfully covered our Illustrator tools. Now we are going to cover some of the menus which are really important to know about. The first menu which we're gonna start about is object menu. So let's jump to our computer screen and let's see what options do we have in our object menu. So this is the object menu. The object menu, first we have transform, arrange, align, and distribute. Then we have group, under block, unlock, hide, and show all. Let's cover these things first, then we will jump to the other section of our object menu. Let's draw some shapes. Let's draw another shape. When you go to your object menu, the first one is transform. In transform, first is transform again. What does transform again mean? We will come to that later. The first one which we're gonna cover is move. Click on the move, it will give you a window and options in horizontal, vertical. On which axis do you wanna move your object? For example, I wanna move them 173 points in horizontal line and 150 points in vertical. After moving them, the distance will show you that how many points is it far away from the position it was before. Yeah, an angle will show you on which direction it moved. So this is the move option. Preview, if you turn it off, it won't show you any results, what changes you made. But when you turn it on, then it will show you that before it was here, but now it's in here if you click on OK. If cancel it, it will be right where it was. And copy means I want to have one shape here and the other one here. Click on copy, it will duplicate it. Now what is transform again means? Transform again means the transformation which we applied on the object, apply it again, repeat it to the object which is selected right now. Transform again, then it will give you another copy because from this object, we transformed it till here and from the subject it transformed it till this point. The next thing is rotate in circle you won't see any results because there aren't any edges to see the difference. Let's click on our star, go to object, rotate. We can give them specific angles on which angle or how many degrees it should rotate it. Same, copy it. Okay, if you copy it, it will give another star. We can change its color. We can also rotate it manually with the help of selection tool. Some of you may say that these things we can do it with selection tool as well. Just click and drag, release it, control D to transform it again. So this is the things which we can do with the selection tool too. Why do we need to have transform option? It's not like selection tool can do anything like transform tool. Let's go to our object, transform. The next one is reflect. What does reflect do? Let's delete all of them. Click on it, go to object, transform, reflect. It will give you another copy of the same object, but reflected, mirror. Change its direction, click OK. You can see it is reflected, but you can't see the difference because all the edges are the same. If it's reflected or not, we can't see any difference. To know it well, let's divide the shape. Go to our scissor tool. Let's cut it from here and here. If you don't know about scissor tool, we have covered everything about the tool menu of Illustrator. Go to the previous classes, learn them, then come back to this class. Let's delete the section now. I have a half star. Now when I click on the object to go to transform and reflect, now you can see it is reflected. If I click OK, I don't have any other copy of it because I just wanted to reflect the current object or path, whatever it is I've selected. And if I go to transform, reflect it, but this time I gotta have a copy of it. Now you can see there are two shapes right here. The first one is the original. The second one is the reflection of the first one. We can join them back. Let's go click on direct selection tool, select these two, right click and join. Yeah. Let's do the same thing to the bottom of our shape. 
right click and join now this is a single shape then we have scale if it is uniform scale we're gonna scale it vertically and horizontally at the same time but if you go and do some changes with non-uniform then it will only be scaled horizontally or vertically if both of them are the same then it will be in the same size or same style it is but if you do something like this then it will lose its quality if i click ok then it will be applied to the same shape if i click copy then original will be left and i'll have another copy of my star then we have share tool what does share tool tool let's click on this box go to the object menu transform and share and share we can set degree for our share you can see how it stretches the angles this is how our share tool works we can create a lot of things we can create a book for example i'm going to take another copy here let's create another shape change its color to a little bit darker we also have share tool oh wait it is yeah here it is reshape tool sorry share tool is here we can do the same thing with the help of share tool but right now i need to use a reshape tool first select the path and then go to reshape tool Let's select this one, reshape tool, and we can apply some gradient. So this is something we can do with the help of our, with the help of transform. After transform, we have a range options. What does a range option means? Suppose we have how many boxes? Four boxes. This one is red. This one is yellow. And this one is gray. If I want to bring this shape or this box in front of the yellow, what would I do? Go to object, arrange and bring forward and it will come in front of the yellow one. If I want to bring it in front of the red, go the same thing or do the same thing, arrange, bring forward. If you want to send it back, go to object, arrange, send backward. It will send step by step, backward and forward. What if it send the last and I want to bring it in front of the red one. It means not just red one in front of the, all the other shapes. I'll go to object, arrange, send to or bring to front. Or if I want to send it back or I want to show all the other layers to be in front of this layer. Go to object, arrange and send to back. These two options, transform and arrange, are also available when you right click on your shape. When you right click, you can see here is the transform and here you can see the arrange section or arrange options. After transform and arrange, what do we have? We have align. You can see all the alignment here. For example, let's have a star, a small star. And I want to have few copies when you select all of them you can see they are not aligned properly for example you can see spaces here you can see space here but not here just go to align option and do you want a horizontal align vertically vertically to top then it will align them to the top line of your selection or if you want to go to object align bottom line that it will align them to the bottom line of your selection 
And if you want to do it in center, let's just do it like this so we can see result more clearly. If I go in a line, a vertical align center, then it, they all will be aligned to center, aligned to top, and aligned to bottom. Why do we do this in vertical? Because we want to align it vertically. Simple logic. If there is a design which needs to be aligned horizontally, then we will be applying horizontal align right, center, and left. For example, we have something like this, suppose. Select all of them, go to object, align, horizontal left. So this is horizontal left, horizontal right, horizontal right and horizontal center, vertical center. We need to click on horizontal center. This is it. There is another option after a line which is distribute. Distribute means how much space do we have here? maybe 20 30 pixels but it's not the same space which is in here and it's not the same space which we have between these two the same goes for others if you want to divide the spaces equally to all the other shapes between all the other shapes we need to work with distribute so what do you think do we need to distribute them vertically or horizontally vertically if you click on center all of them will be aligned properly what it does it counts the distance between the last shape and the first shape then it also sees how many other shapes do we have between them and how much space left so i can divide that space between all of them for example this shape is here this one is here yeah you guys can see one two three four five six we have six star shapes we don't have distance between these, but we have this much in or between six and the fifth shape. So what it does, when you click on distribute, it divides this distance between all the other shapes. Go to object, distribute and distribute to center. The same thing goes to distribute horizontal. First, we need to align them, align to the center and spaces go to distribute and distribute to center. So this is how distribute works. And this distribute and align options are also available in here. If you guys can see, this is the align section till here. And after that, we have distribute sections. I hope you guys understood what is transform, arrange, align and distribute. You guys can use it really effectively in your designs. In next lesson, we will be covering the groups, expansions, rasterizations and other options which are included in our object menu.